Yo, what's happening, family? So tomorrow, my daughter turns four years old, and I gotta keep it real. As a daddy, as a poppy, life just flies by, right? It flies by. Every day feels like it goes so much faster. Um, when I was just with my wife, and it was us, you know, <laughs> days would go by kind of slow. But now that we have kids, every day is a marathon. Over the last few weeks, I've been unemployed. I haven't had a job. And recently when I picked her up from school, you know, I think it was like the, the first or second day of unemployment. Um, yes, I'm still chasing my dreams, still trying to build my business, but the second day of unemployment, uh, I picked her up from school and she was like, Nene, do you have to go back to work? And I, I reflected on that for a moment and I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> and so we went to the park for about an hour and a half and we were just having a good time. And so in this video, what I wanted to talk about are some of the positives of being unemployed. You know, some of the positive things, because I think when you go on LinkedIn, if you're applying to hundreds, if not thousands of positions, it can be frustrating that nothing is working out. If people are not getting back to you, if you're not getting responses, uh, it could be a bummer, right? I'm not gonna lie, that, that sucks. It sucks not having a job, it sucks not knowing where your next paycheck is gonna come from, right? It sucks not taking that vacation right now, but I'm finding, you know, I always try to find the silver lining in the experiences that are the most challenging. And here's what I'm finding through my personal experience. Number one, I have more time with my kids right now, right? I have more time to be present and not think about putting out a fire or something for work, right? And that to me has been a refreshing experience because I haven't been unemployed for almost 10 years. The last time I was unemployed was when I was looking for a design job. So that, that's a blessing in itself. Things were so consistent. And I embrace when these low periods happen because I see that this is when a new experience comes to life. You know, right now I'm building my business, which is a learning experience and I feel so excited every day when I learn something new. When I was working at Salesforce, what I found was that I was not spending time with my family, right? I was making great money, but I did not have any time, right? I was complaining about not having time. Now I have the time, right? So there is a trade-off between your work and your life, right? And, um, you know, I remember when I had went to a Reiki session while I was at Salesforce and the healer told me that I loved my job more than I loved myself. I loved my job more than, and, and, the, and the scary part was that it was true, right? It was true. So now I'm at a place in my life where I respect myself and my dreams more than I respect what somebody else wants for me, right? I embrace and I acknowledge my talents and my gifts more than somebody's doubts or beliefs about me, right? If a job doesn't work out, I'm like, okay, like I know that's probably not the job for me. God is trying to move me towards my destiny and move me a little bit closer. Every no is getting me closer to my yes, right? Um, so yes, more time for family, more time to build my dreams, right? Um, that's the other blessing that I personally have the space and the time to work on a dream that I always wanted to work on. Most people go through life without even acknowledging their dreams, right? My mother came here as an immigrant and my father did as well. And it was all about survival. So I feel, you know, so grateful that I have the time and the space to actually work on something 
that I wanted to produce myself. That's the other part, right? I, I have time for family, I have time to work on something that I always wanted to work on. And I, I acknowledge that a lot of people don't have, you know, that ability because they have to provide for their family. They gotta, I have to do those things too. And it is scary not having that, that paycheck come in consistently, right? But when you work towards a dream that's much larger than yourself, you know, I think that if you feel called to do something and you answer that calling, blessings are gonna come, you know, sooner or later. That's my personal belief. Right? And the third thing that I take away from this experience in this current moment is that I have the curiosity and the open-mindedness to learn things that I didn't have the opportunity to do when I had a job. When I started out as a designer, I was out in the streets, you know, not, not just out in the streets, but I would go to meetups, I would go to community events, meet with people, learn about their stories, learn about opportunities, learn new skills, right? And, and new ways of thinking. And I'm finding that since not having a job, I'm doing more of that naturally, right? It, and it's an exciting time. So I say all that to say that if you're unemployed and you feel frustrated, hopefully this video helps you see some of the silver linings in your own life, right? A lot of UX designers who are currently employed complain about all the challenges that come with the roles that we take on. And when you're working with product managers and they don't wanna to listen to you, or you have stakeholders do, that don't know about design and don't know how the, the process works, like they complain about all those things, but when we're unemployed, we complain about being unemployed, right? So. Um, I think that there's always some trade-offs in the decisions that you make in life. I decided to walk away from my job for some time and I'm finding that personally, you know, before I was scared to do it, but what I'm finding now is that it was the right thing because I'm learning new things and I'm uncomfortable, right? And I think that the only time that we really learn to get to the next level in life is when we have, when we feel and embrace that discomfort, right? So I challenge you to understand why you're fearful of being unemployed. Is it actually because you can't pay off bills or is it because you can't flex online? I think that a lot of people are scared of being unemployed because of the perception that other people may have of them from a cultural lens or even from a social standpoint if you're a young person, right? The, the older that I get, the, the more that I look at, you know, things not working out in life as, you know, when I think about the worst that, that can happen, I'm just like, okay, I'm unemployed. But it's not the end of the world. My children are okay right now, which is, you know, that's the, that's the best part. My children are okay. My wife is okay. And yes, it's scary, but we're all okay right now. We got a place to live, we, get, we got food to eat, our family is together, and we, have, we love each other, right? And that's the most important thing. We're spending more time together. We're embracing each, each other more, and we're making memories. And although that, you know, this is not what we all wanna go through, we embrace these moments because we're only gonna grow from here, right? And we're gonna have, you know, things will get better at some point and we won't have as much time, right? Um, so I'm just, you know, sharing with you guys my poppy thoughts. <laughs> you know, these are just thoughts from Poppy Doodoo today. Uh, my little girl turns four tomorrow. I think it just, you know, all, all of this just shows me how life just flies by. And I think it's important for us to actually focus on the most important things in our lives because sometimes we blind ourselves to the things that are actually, you know, based on fear. And when we focus on our faith and the things that actually matter, then we can become more grateful for uh, just life overall.
because every day that you wake up is a is a blessing. Every every time you just breathe and you know have the ability to walk, it's like what what are we complaining about? You know, if you got the basics and the necessities, and you have love and friendship, you are good. You are wealthy, right? So. A lot of people don't have that, especially in these lonely times. So, yeah, anyways, guys, if it reframed um, how you think about your current situation, if you're going through the struggles and those frustrations of not having a job, you already know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.